but you start seeing all of those signs then you realize that probably this is how long it would take you to trim your hair every time you mark it down okay and then you record this over the next two to three trims okay that will tell you exactly how long it will always take you to trim your hair i think this is the best way okay to follow okay than following the general rule Hey honeys, welcome back and thank you so much for tuning in. So today honeys, we're talking about split ends, what they are, the types of split ends, okay? We're also going to talk about single strand knots, tangles, okay? And why we need to trim our hair to get rid of these bad single strand knots, split ends, okay, and tangles. I'm sure you all remember when I did my trimming video, my hair trimming video, you saw how bad my hair was, okay? And how healthy it looked after I trimmed my hair. It looked healthy it had volume it looked thick and it actually felt thick as well okay and that's what happens when you trim your hair so what are split ends split ends are basically your hair the ends of your hair splitting into two and traveling up the shaft so this is your hair and then this is the ends of your hair and then it, it starts to split like that and then it keeps going it keeps going okay and then the more it goes okay you can see it goes down it goes up the shaft and then it affects your healthy hair okay and then with time it breaks off this one breaks off it breaks off the thing is if you don't catch it early like i said if you don't catch it early it will travel up the shaft and affect your healthy hair okay so then all of your hair becomes you know start having split ends and this will result in hair breakage now the question you're going to ask is why am i getting split ends because you get split ends from damage and you ask yourself why am i getting split ends from damage damage from what now damage from all the times that you've been touching your hair basically wear and tear okay so coming from you combing your hair you brushing your hair you applying hot tools okay to your hair you applying chemicals to your hair all of these cause damage to your hair and that's also result and that will result in then we have single strand knots now single strand knots happens when a strand of your hair curls itself until it forms into a perfect knot okay and um, you saw this in my um again when i was doing my trim i had so many it was so bad and that's when i knew that i had to do a trim now with single strand knots you can't entirely avoid them okay just like with split ends but with proper hair care routine okay and also moisturizing your hair very well you will be able to control the amount of single strand knots that you get and single strand knots are basically just characteristics of curly hair okay so the more curlier your hair is the more it will happen to you so now let's talk about the different types of split ends so the first one is called the basic split so here basically the ends of your hair okay again start to split as you can see so the very ends of your hair begin to split this is the very early stage and also early signs of split ends and here your hair is telling you that it needs more nourishment so you need to nourish your hair the next um, type is called the um, mini split here your hair is telling you that you need to cut back on the manipulation okay the chemicals or whatever you're using the tools okay too much detangling and all of that you need to cut back and also be more consistent with your hair care routine the next one is called fork in the road okay so this is less common than the mini splits and the um the um, basic split okay now here is an is an indication that the the split ends is is getting worse okay there's a bit more damage and splitting in your ends okay in your hair and also that there's an indication that you need to do a bit more deep conditioning okay you need to do a bit more treatment to your hair okay to nourish your hair and bring back the nutrients next type of split ends is called the tree okay so this means at this stage it means that the the, the damage is, is getting is, is a lot more in your hair okay and then the split is traveling down your shaft okay it's getting down and down okay so a lot of your hair is now now has the split ends okay and there is no going back now at this stage all you have to do is to cut or cut the hair else it's just going to get back and you, at this stage your hair is telling you that you didn't catch the initial split early okay and things have escalated so you just need to cut your hair off next type of split end is called the candle the damage has actually affected your cuticle layer okay and to the point that the cuticle layer is not even there anymore okay it's gone 
so all you have right now is your cortex now the cuticle layer is the uh, the outermost part of your hair okay so the damage has actually taken off the outermost part of your hair and now you're left with the cortex and i think at this stage you should be happy that you still even have your cortex and it's not split yet okay and you should quickly have a trim okay there's no going around it just get the hair cut okay get it trimmed okay and yeah that's it you can't do anything at this age okay here your hair is telling you that you're too rough okay and you're over manipulating your hair you know when your hair is very thick at the roots if if you notice your hair if you're you know you can see that your hair from here as it's coming up is very very thick but then as it's getting to the end you realize that it's very very frail it's very very thin just like my hair before i trimmed it you could see and that is when you know that you are having split ends okay because at this time the cuticle layer is off okay so that ends okay it's just the cortex is very very thin but then the root from the root side is thick because it's still got the cuticle layer on and this is when you know you need to trim it off before it goes into the root so these are the very common types of split ends okay that we have and now that we know what split ends are now we know of single strand nodes what do we have to do okay to get rid of these um single strand nodes and split ends we have to trim them we have to get rid of them by trimming them off okay now before we even go into trimming i just want to get this out okay i know a lot of people get confused okay between the difference between trimming your hair and cutting your hair okay so i just want to help okay here and explain um, the meaning of trimming your hair and then cutting your hair even before trimming your hair we have something called dusting okay so dusting is basically just taking off the very ends of your hair so just if you know like i mean now you can see now my hair is all good so i haven't got split ends okay but i'm just trying to show you so dusting basically is taking off the very ends of your hair just there okay just just taking it off in case you know you start seeing the basic split you want to take it off quickly so dustin is just taking off the very ends of your hair okay and then trimming is actually going a bit into your hair okay so trimming you go in a bit so from there you might want to go in you know here with trimming you increase the length and then cutting is when you let go a lot of your hair okay so like you go into the barber shop and all you know cutting is when like you're doing a big chop okay you let go a lot of your hair is like maybe this point like you cutting off your hair basically maybe the the split end has gone so far okay down to your roots okay so maybe your cuticles are gone and all that you so you want to start all of that again so you're actually doing you're cutting your hair basically so now i think you might be asking yourself how do i know when i have to trip my hair how often do i have to trim my hair okay my answer all the time to this question is it's a personal thing okay it depends on your hair it depends on how you take care of your hair your hair care habits okay how you care for your hair will depend how often you should trim your hair okay um everybody's different everybody's hair care routine is different how often do you deep condition your hair how often do you treat your hair do you use a lot of hot tools do you use a lot of heat on your hair do you manipulate your hair a lot i mean all of these things would tell whether you have to trim your hair more often or not okay so for me i would say that just study your hair understand your hair okay your hair will tell you when to trim the rule of thumb here says that trim your hair every three to four months okay but i will add okay that it depends on your hair okay so don't trim your hair when you don't need it trim your hair as and when needed okay because it depends on you know, how you care for your hair so you can actually stretch the period of when to trim your hair again to maybe after three to four months depending like i said on how you care for your hair how healthy your hair is if you don't need to then you don't have to trim it three to four months you can stretch it a bit fair don't trim your hair three months when you don't think your hair needs trimming okay look out for the signs that will tell you if your hair needs trimming or not now you're gonna ask yourself what signs do i have to look for okay to know i have to trim my hair so let's go into that let's look at some of the signs that you have to look out for when you see your hair is matted all the time it's a sign that you need to trim your hair your hair not 
up and tangles easily you see a lot of single strand knots when you struggle to comb and detangle your hair and then also when you see that you have uneven layers okay in your hair you know it's time when you can actually see your ends okay you can actually see the split ends okay and also you can actually see your ends looking very frizzy okay and the very massive okay sign as well is when you're experiencing breakage because all of these signs i'm talking about will lead to breakage so when you start experiencing breakage then you know that definitely you need to have a trim like for instance when you do a twist out like i've done okay and then you realize that the ends looks frizzy it doesn't have that beautiful curl definition okay like mine having this curl definition okay the ends doesn't have it i i don't have that frizzy ends now because i have trimmed it okay but if you remember i'm sure if you remember in my past videos sometimes you can see the ends doesn't look too good because the ends have got split ends okay but now because i've cut it up you can see that from the root from the ends here to the roots they're all the same and that is amazing okay but if you have split ends you realize that the ends is get it gets freezy it doesn't have that beautiful curl definition like the rest of the hair okay the ends is dead that means you need to trim your hair now if you remember when i was doing the rice water video okay because by then i i was still saving the um split ends to show you so if you remember when i was doing the rice water video when i applied the rice water to my hair if you remember the rest of my hair absorbed the rice water and you could see the curl definition you could see that my hair has absorbed the rice water but my ends oh my goodness do you remember my ends it was so funny because my ends will not respond to the rice water it looked so dry it looked dead it was like it was a, in a world of its own it was like it wasn't part of my hair that is what split ends that's okay it's like that's and the ends of your hair is dead it doesn't respond to anything and then finally when you apply like a moisturizer to your hair okay or any product to your hair and you realize that the ends of your hair still feels dry so the other part of your hair the rest of your hair looks moisturized it looks like it's absorbed the moisturizer but the ends of your hair still looks dry because it's dead so these are the signs you can look out for okay and then you will know that you need to trim your hair so with all these signs that i have mentioned okay so let's say for instance you've trimmed your hair okay and after two to three months okay you start noticing these signs i mentioned you see split ends you see single strap knots it's hard to comb your hair it's hard to detangle your hair your hair is breaking you know the ends look dry no matter the amount of product you put you start seeing all of those signs then you realize that probably this is how long it would take you to trim your hair every time you mark it down okay and then you record this over the next two to three trims okay that will tell you exactly how long it will always take you to trim your hair i think this is the best way okay to follow okay than following the general rule first of all you can't have healthy hair without trimming your hair okay you can't have healthy hair with dead ends because once your hair your your hair is got split ends and dead ends and frizzy ends it makes your whole hair look unhealthy okay so you can't have healthy hair without trimming your hair because you will have frizzy dead ends and you make your hair look messy and you know when you do your styles it doesn't look good so the first reason why the first reason why we have to trim our hair is to get rid of those dead freezing old ends okay so that when we do our styles okay we're trying to flaunt our hair it will look healthy and not unhealthy second reason for trimming your hair is that trimming your hair actually helps you to retain length okay so trimming your hair actually helps you with hair growth not the other way around i know a lot of us will be wondering but if i trim my hair that means my hair is not going to get long okay because i'm trimming my hair but think about it if you don't trim your hair early then the split ends is going to travel the shaft okay and so more of your hair is going to have split ends so if you don't cut your hair early you are going to be cutting your hair maybe if you if you had cut it early you will be able to cut up to just here okay but if you don't trim it then that means that your hair is getting more damaged and it's going right down to the shaft so that means that you have to cut a bit more here if you don't do it early if you do it a bit later you're going to end up cutting more here okay so trimming your hair actually helps you okay to retain length because think about it you might be thinking my hair is not growing my hair is not growing maybe because you're not trimming your hair so your hair is breaking off 
okay so that means that you will be thinking my hair is not growing but your hair is actually growing our hair grows remember our hair grows from the roots okay so as your hair is growing because of your split ends it will also be breaking so probably your hair is growing the same rate as your breakage okay or maybe even the rate at which your hair is breaking is even more than the growth so you can't see your hair growing but if you cut off the split ends okay then you will not have any split ends so the growth that is coming will stay and it will be getting longer because the split ends is not going in so your hair is not breaking much so then you will start seeing the hair length so trimming your hair actually helps with hair length retention not the other way around trimming also helps your hair okay in terms of volume okay you see your hair looking thicker okay it looks nicer and it has volume as you can see i am loving the thickness of my hair look at that guys it's it's just look at that it looks so thick now and it, it looks it's got the volume it's got the body because when you trim what happens is you're taking away all the thin frail ends away all you have left is just the thick part of your hair okay so your whole hair looks you know thicker it has volume and that's what trimming does for your hair trimming your hair also helps your hair to absorb moisture and retain moisture okay because if your hair the ends are dead it would not absorb moisture when you put product in it it will not absorb it okay it would just the product will just sit on your hair the the ends does not respond to the product the product just sits on your hair causing buildups okay and then later the products will dry off so that means nothing it didn't go into your ends okay and then it means you've wasted your products so now we know we have to trim our hair we know the reasons why we have to trim our hair but the question is what do we use to trim our hair what are the tools we need to trim our hair with yeah you know we are very used to looking for little knots in our hair sometimes especially when you're detangling your hair and the comb is not going through you see this knot and then all you do you just pull it off and out of your hair don't do that <laughs> don't do that you're causing more damage and split ends to your hair and it's going to travel okay down the shaft so don't do that okay invest in a very good hair cutting shirts okay special tool okay to cut your hair hair cutting shirts hair cutting scissors not your kitchen scissors not your sewing scissors not the scissors that you used to do your kids craft homework no special hair scissors okay call the shares okay i showed you mine when i was trimming my hair you saw the one in my video invest in something like that okay and keep it safe okay do not use it to cut anything because it's going to get blunt okay and then when you use it on your hair it's going to cause more split ends on your hair it's going to shatter your shaft don't do that keep it safe don't use it to do anything else to do your to, to cut things in the kitchen or anything no keep it highly safe that is your hair cutting shares especially for your hair keep it safe okay invest in a good hair cutting scissors you can get them on amazon you can get them online okay you can get them in your local beauty store okay invest in one okay their prices are ranges some are more expensive some are also very affordable um, i'm just going to show you again the hair cutting scissors that i'm actually talking about just in case you haven't seen the um the video this is the hair cutting shirts that i'm referring to so you can see and it's very sharp so be very careful very very sharp okay and also you want to have a white tip comb okay to detangle you saw when i was uh, cutting and um, trimming my hair the process involves a lot of detangling you saw i kept doing it over and over so you need this comb to make sure that you go through and brush through all the tangles and nuts okay to get that perfect even cut okay you need this you need a white tip comb okay you also need a fine tip comb so the last combing the last brushing before the trim you're not going to use that one also you can get some hair clips okay to tuck the ones that you don't you're not working on away okay some clips and then if you're going to work on damp hair you need your spray bottle like I explained i love to work on damp hair not on dry hair now you've got your tools okay finally i just want to show you the different methods okay that you can use to trim your hair okay so first of all is the straightforward trim okay which is what i used in the first part of my hair trim if you remember so basically in that um, method all you do you sh you brush your hair detangle your hair very well okay and then you trim it that's it okay and then normally what you do is 
you use the first trimmed hair as your guide and level it up with the next one you're going to trim and then you cut it for e and then you trim it for even even cuts okay so that's the first um method and then the second method okay is called the twist and trim which is what i used for the second part of my trim if you remember so there you twist the hair okay and then you trim okay this part actually this method helps you okay to um for me let me let me say for me okay for me i like to use both a method i prefer to do the first method and then after that i go over my trim with a twist and trim it helps me to catch any split ends that i missed in the first method okay so i go over with the twist and trim and then just in case i've missed any split ends the twist and trim helps me to get rid of that bit also there is a method called search and destroy method okay so basically here all you do is you look for the um the ends you look for the nuts okay and the splits okay and then all you do is just cut them off just cut the nuts and split off because some people might say trimming my hair every three to four months is too much so if you have that issue then you don't have to do that every three to four months you don't have to do that just look for the the nuts and then cut them off okay and then if that makes you feel better then this method is for you just search and destroy look for the nuts and then chop them off you don't have to trim your whole ends so honeys this is all about split ends single strand knot trimming your hair types of split ends okay methods of trimming your hair tools for trimming your hair signs to look out for to trim your hair how and how and when often to trim your hair that's a lot of information okay that is a lot of information i've shared with you okay the difference between cutting and trimming your hair okay and also the methods of trimming your hair a lot of information i've shared with you and i hope it helps somebody out there share your thoughts okay let me know what you think about this okay ask your questions in the comment section and i'll respond if you're not sure of anything and please share 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 this video it will help a lot of people trust me so please share okay and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video don't forget to do that okay don't forget to give me a thumbs up okay and please subscribe don't forget to subscribe because there's a lot i'm going to share with you as you know i am on a hair growth journey i've just had a trim okay so we're starting fresh so start with me let's grow our hair together and also how i grow my kit hair you can have you can also see that so if there's any tips for your kids you can also get it from there okay so yes thank you guys thank you so much again for watching okay thank you take care god bless i will see you in the next one god bless lots of love bye